So here we have the Vauxhall Astra SRI on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through the controls on the inside. From the outside though you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see that we've got plenty of space in there along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. You can see the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges in the middle at the top. And then underneath that, we've got the main trip computer section, which includes the total miles for this car, and they are 12,905. You can change the information that's displayed above that by using buttons on the steering wheel for things like, as you can see, tire pressures, timers, uh, various vehicle settings and a digital readout for the speedometer as well as fuel economy figures on top of all of that. We back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using just a moment ago are these ones here. We've also got stereo controls over that side too. And then on the left hand side, we've got cruise control and speed limiter. We've got forward collision warning system. There's a video showing what that is on our Facebook page and on our website. And we've got voice activation for the phone. So you can hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired up the phone, and that is done on the central touchscreen just here. Uh, hit the phone icon and then follow instructions on screen. This car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on both our website and our Facebook page. When it comes to music in this car, you've got a few ways to listen to that. Uh, when it comes to the radio, first of all, you've got DAB, digital radio, as well as AM and FM. You can listen to your own music. Nothing is connected at the moment, um, but this car has got USB input. Uh, you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well, and it has Apple CarPlay. Uh, so plug in your Apple device and the screen will be mirrored more or less up on this screen just here. Below that, we have the air conditioning. So we can select the temperature on this dial, fan speed over here, and then it's hard to see because of the sun, but that button on the end turns the air conditioning off when that light shows us off or on when you have that orange light come on. So air conditioning on, you can determine where within the car you'd like the air distributed as well. We have a five speed manual gearbox. And then just in front of that, we have these four buttons here. So uh, this turns off uh, the lane departure warning system. So this car is designed to warn you if you drift from your lane. For, uh, for example, if you fell asleep at the wheel, uh, it would warn you. This turns off the stop and start. The car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which will save you fuel. You can turn that off if you wish to. You can turn off the traction control and you can put the car in sport mode. Putting the car in sport mode uh, makes the accelerator pedal react a bit faster to what you do uh, and the steering will become slightly firmer. It just gives the whole car a slightly sportier feel. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.